Hello and welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam and uh, I spent a minute, uh, not that long I guess. Oof. Um, hi. Uh, hello. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi everyone. Hello. Hi. Um, we are today going to see if I can replace the batteries in some of my, uh, Pokemon Game Boy cartridges. So most people think of uh, gold and silver when they think of replacing batteries, but actually I'm looking to replace the batteries in my original copy of Emerald, most importantly. Um, it was my childhood copy, and thusly uh, we will not be doing that one first, as this is actually my first soldering job. We are going to start with this bootleg copy of Leaf Green. Leaf green isn't supposed to be this color. Leaf green, green is supposed to be more of a solid, solid color. Leaf green also doesn't have weird writing on the back and a sticker that shows through. And most importantly, leaf green doesn't have a battery. But this one does. So, <laughs> this is a fake copy of leaf green, if you couldn't tell. It does have a tri-wing screw, though, which is interesting. Most of the time, they replace those with Phillips head. Um, either way, um... This is our project today. So, again, like last time, audio is going to be a little interesting because the microphone's over here. But, um, okay, try wing screwdriver, this one. Um, I'll latch that shut, put that over here. Uh, put it on unscrew and see what we can do here. Oh, that's crusty. That's crusty, boy. Okay. Apologize for the fan noise. Uh, it does need to be on because we're going to be soldering. Um, ooh, this is crusty. Ooh, that. Ooh, that was indeed crusty. But we have battery terminals. Oh, and that is like ugly. This thing has been like underwater at some point. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, here, let me. See that? Come on. You see that? All that like white? That's. Uh, that's not supposed to be the case. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if we can fix the lighting situation here, too. Make it not so bright, so shiny. Uh, hang on, guys. Hopefully that helps. Okay. A little bit better. Not as overexposed. Okay. So. Um, this guy is not quite what I was hoping for. Um, for learning to get this battery out. But I think, I guess it'll work. I, I suppose. We're going to get this screw right here. Get that out of the way. Okay, this is going to be my first actual soldering job, guys. I'm going to take the cover off of that. Move that over there. I just got some proper heat soldering braid. I was going to use a solder sucker, but I don't know if that's, like, the best way to go with this. This is some thin braid, though. I guess we'll try the solder sucker first. Um, I don't know. I've never, never done it. We're going to pull the cover off of that. And, okay, I guess wish me luck. Where is the power switch on this guy? There it is. Um. Shit, I forget, like, the recommended temperature. Um. I think it's, what, 350, right? 350 Celsius, something like that.
So, um, I do have the fan going for some circulation here. Let's see what we can do. This is like wrapped under here. Weird. Yeah, that's like wrapped under. Here we go. Here we go. Cool. Grab that piece of tape there. I don't actually need this right now, actually. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need this right now. Um, I just need this guy. This guy. Okay. Calibrating this here. Okay, I think we're all right. I guess let's try this here. First soldering. Um, Does that work or not? I might have to use the braid. I almost need like a third hand here. Yeah, that like flew. You could also use um like a non-slip mat. Hang on. Hang on actually. I got this. I got this. Behold, non-slip. Slip, non-slip. Look at that, it doesn't slip nearly as much anymore. All right, let's put that there and hold down that side. All right, much better. Let's um, let's try the desoldering braid, because that job seems, this seems like maybe that's a little bit of a, um, a bad job for, um, For that this solder, this desoldering braid seems I don't know I also know not to hold on to the the braid like that there we go the braid is working well there we go yeah the braid is working really well all right that's good now let's try the other side Try to get this battery free. And again, this is a copy of Leaf Green. It says this is a bootleg copy of Leaf Green. I am not sentimental towards. Which is why this is my candidate for um for this here. Oof. Warm. Okay. Let's um flip this over. We don't really know. Those are the battery terminals. Okay. So these, this one is giving trouble here. Not trouble, but this guy is. Not. This one looks fine. This one here. You guys can't even see. It's way overexposed. Hang on. Let's see what we can do here. Um, okay. 
hopefully, hopefully that'll be better. It's a little dark. I'm brightening up a little bit. Just a little bit. It's like really reflective. All this stuff is super reflective. I can't like... I don't think the light's too harsh. I guess that'll work. Let's see if that works. All right. So let's see now if we can pull this battery terminal off. No, that guy's not coming loose. That guy's not coming loose. Okay. Um, could be again that this is just a cheap, shitty copy of Leaf Green. By cheap, shitty copy, I mean um, fake. Let's get like a flathead bit under there. And. Try to like pull it up off. No. Oh. Ooh, we're all like black on the tip. There we go. I think that's better. And then, there we go. That one's free. I need to get used to putting it over there when I'm when it's not doing nothing. That one's free. Now, come on. There we go, that one's free. All right. I got it loose. I'm gonna hold it over by the fan and cool it down for a second. Because I gotta touch it. Hopefully that's all right. Okay. Now herein lies problem num number two. I don't have batteries that are in these nice little cases. Um, and I'm wondering how bad of a problem that is. It, it looks like it might be a bad problem. Because these are like stuck down to it. I didn't realize they were stuck. I thought they would be like... Hmm. Interesting. I thought they would just be like um, bent down, you know what I mean? They're stuck. So that's very, very interesting. Um, and also they don't come off. Okay. Maybe I fucked up here, guys. Maybe I really should have, um, just grabbing this yellow off isn't going to help. Hmm. Well, I might have screwed up here, guys. Unless I want to grab electrical tape and, like, tape the contacts on before I solder them. Which I very well could do. It wouldn't be pretty, but it would probably work. Hmm. Well. Hmm. 
At least my first soldering job was a success. I would say. I would I would say it was. I got the battery out. Didn't break nothing. A little tricky-ish, but it worked out, you know. It's some um, jank ass bootleg game is jank bootleg is jank, okay? Jank bootleg is jank. Um Man, that looks awful in there, too. wonder what fucking Chinese factory made that abomination. Um, okay. Well. I don't really know what to do about this. Because I don't really have spare wire. And I don't have, like, a battery cradle thing. Like you're supposed to put these in. So, um, let's look at the not my childhood emerald. That's my childhood emerald. Let's look at the not my childhood emerald and see how that looks as far as, um, the battery itself, let's see if um, it looks any nicer if I maybe can utilize the stuff built into that one. There's that. The front cover slides down like this. And then you can just let it come off on its own. Shouldn't need to force it. Ooh, this one is kind of crusty too. Ooh. Ugh. I know this. Well, I guess this one could have been underwater because this one was um not my childhood game. So mine should, well, should be in okay, um, okay shape. Um... This one has a lot more solder, very much larger solder pads. This one, I do believe they're still stuck to the battery, though. I don't know how to solve that problem. I really don't. I guess I could take some spare wire of some kind and, like jank it but i don't want to jank it i want it to be nice so look this this is still like stuck down the um the pin there you see it this this part that's still like stuck the battery so I don't know how to like pull that off without um, without breaking something hmm well it's dead anyway so let's pull, let's pull this one off. Yeah. It's dead anyway. Let's pull this one off. Let's try the solder sucker again, since there's more solder on this guy. Let's try the solder sucker again. Actually, let's, um, move this leafy boy over there, and let's move the plastic case to this one back there as well, so I don't hit it. Okay, solder sucker is armed and ready. Let's try it. Heat this up. Why is this not heating? You can tell the iron's hot. 
I know the iron sock. Is that unleaded solder maybe? Does this need to be hotter? Sixty five. No, hang on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Temperature, 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 temperature. Okay, so lead free needs to be a lot hotter. About 340 for leaded solder, which is stuff I use. Interesting. The so lead free is about 360 or so, which is where I'm at. Why is this not coming free? Is this not actually hot? Like it feels hot. It says it's. 360. Let's try this again. Okay, let's try this side, I guess. This side's heating up. This side's all this all the solder is underneath though. I'm gonna need braid for this. Cooking up some of it. I think they use some kind of weird lead based, um, weird unleaded solder. I don't know, because this is like not coming up. Let's try this side again. I think it's like they're not, they don't go through the board, is another problem. They don't go through the board at all. So, this is all surface. Let's see. I'm getting any. No, this is like not coming up at all. Try not to get my hands too close. I don't want to burn my fingers, but. Hmm. I'm very confused. It's like a massive blob under there. I'm getting a little bit. 
but not all of it. Hmm. Very, very peculiar. Looks fine. I know it's hot because I can feel the warmth. I feel like I must be doing something wrong, but I don't have the experience necessary to know what's going on here. This is like. Am I using like the wrong side of the braid? Does the braid have like. I wouldn't think it would be. One side over the other is better, but maybe. Like I feel, and to some of you that's gonna sound dumb, but I, I don't know. Fuck it, it's not working. No, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um. Hmm. Well. They are, again, they're surface mounted. And it's not letting free. Could I, um, let's try the screwdriver method again, huh? Excuse me. Let's um let's shove it in there. Yeah. Just get a little bit of pressure on it. And try to just lift her off. Oh, I think it's working. Yeah, I got it free. All right. Cool, that worked. That worked. Put the iron away. Okay. Put, put the iron away. That worked. All right. That was Smarticle. See, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm professional around here. Ish. Let go, please. I got it. All right. Nice. And I didn't fuck up the pads too bad. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, now that it's free. Now. Now. We get the solder sucker involved. That liquid solder. I think the solder sucker is working. I'm actually kind of happy with this, believe it or not. Some people hate them, some people love them. This seems to be working. Uh. 
some in the last little pieces off with the um, the braid and the pad off yeah that's standard practice right clean it off because you're going to put new solder on so it makes good contacts yeah right that's right i think i think i've watched enough people on youtube solder to know that that's probably how it works i feel like i should be cutting this um the soldering braid short once i um once i solder something with it is that right should i be doing that i don't know i'm a little flimsy with all this again because this is actually my first soldering job I've watched it done a dozen times, more than that, on YouTube channels and things. I My brother does it professionally, and he showed me recently. Yeah, yeah. Showed me recently how he does things at work. Um, but yeah, he, he solders professionally. Almost exclusively soldering as well. So, cool. We're actually doing all right here. Um, put the braid over there. I guess cut off all this piece of the braid that is now used up. Is that what we're supposed to do? So we're ready to get solder out of it and use it again? I don't know. I'm going to assume not. I'm sure there is, but I'm guessing it's a long, tedious process that I don't need to be worried about because I don't use enough solder to care. But I'm also going to take some of the solder off of here. Did I get any off? I don't know. This thing is pissing me off. I need to like tape it all down. Okay. Grab this with tweezers because it's going to be hot for a second. I just touched it with my soldering and iron. Gonna hold it over by the fan. Okay. Can I get these ones off? The answer is no. Hmm. Well, this is almost this is a letdown, guys. I don't um. Hmm. I don't really have like the pins to fix that. Do I have like a spare wire that I could use? I don't think I have anything that I would be confident tearing apart. Um, hang on. I do have this big old bag of spare bullshit. Hang on. I have a bag of crap, so to speak. Oh, this I've already literally cut the end off. Um, I don't technically have any wire strippers, but we can um, improvise. Yeah, we're gonna improvise. Split, you bastard. There we go. Okay. This should just be one one guy. I think. 
can check on my multimeter, I guess, if we need to. Oh, I need wire strippers so bad. There we go. A piece of like twine in here. Fairly standard shit. Has to. I don't fucking know what that's like supposed to be for, but. I always try to cut it because it's annoying as shit. Okay. And then, what we do is like, not even like that, like that distance. We do like just a teensy bit. Yeah. Might even be too long. This is like way too long actually. Put this little bit in the garbage. And this little bit in the garbage. And then let's make us a new in here. You guys are watching Redneck Repairs. Not even a redneck, but if I was, this is the kind of stuff I'd be doing. Maybe that makes me a redneck for doing it. You're, you're watching Redneck Video Game Repairs. Okay. Make sure these guys still have a connection here. No? Okay. That's a no. What happened? What had happened was I'm getting in with the fucking twine. I hate fucking twine. It's in there. I hate it. I just pulled the fucking copper all the way through. Well. Okay, well. That, as awful as it sounds, is not actually so bad. Because... Well, maybe not. Apparently this copper is not conductive at all. Not even a little bit. What the fuck? How the fuck is this copper wire not... What? Am I stupid? Is this not copper wire? Am I, am I dumb? Is this just all in twine or whatever? I'm pulling the fucking twine out of it, that's for sure. Maybe it's wrapped in twine. I 
Let's see. See, this is better now. No. What the fuck? This copper is like not conducted. What the fuck? That's so weird. Well, you should be. That's, um, that's weird. Okay. Well, I guess this isn't going to work. Maybe that's why the headphones are in the bag. Maybe it's corroded or something. I don't know. It looks fine. Let's look deeper in the bag of crap. See what else I can find. Is there anything else that might work for this project? Um, earbud tips. Fucking. RCA jack thing. A tiny little USB C that's useful. Um, plug for something. Um, for two things, apparently. Um, let's cut the end off of this, and a couple inches worth, and see what we got here. Maybe I can salvage this. Remember, this is just a bag of crap, guys. Literally just a bag of crap. Given to me by my mother, just a whole bunch of random electronics crap that she had sitting around. Weighing around, sitting around. This one actually might be perfect. I think. Yeah, look at that. I think. Yeah. It's got a red and a black, which means, guys, that we can utilize this for the, just this one piece. That's all we need. I'd love to pull the whole thing off. It's nice and thick quality copper, too. Ooh, this is perfect. This is perfect. It's going to be a little bit jank, but the best things in life are. Let's see if I can get this jacket off. No, but there is the copper for that side. Okay. Well, I don't need this much wire is the problem. And I really don't want all of this um, sleeve. Um... Okay, let me grab something sharper off camera and see if I can be surgical. Okay, I made one incision. Just one teensy little incision. I think it'll be enough.
pull the whole thing apart. Maybe. Maybe not. Still putting up a fight. But it's coming. Come on, you piece of garbage. Go. Put it some more. Just, I'm trying not to damage the wires on the inside, even though I've got plenty more of this, you know. Yes, there we go. Got him. Ladies and gentlemen. We got him. All right, I really should not have touched my eyes there because I've been soldering, but, you know. Okay. Let's, um. Okay. Let's strip the positive side here. Be quite easy. There we go. Okay, and then let's cut this down just a little bit. Okay, and then, for God's sake, this better have continuity. Holy shit, look at that. It's almost like this wire is actually decent. Okay, let's get all of this crap back here. And let's do the same thing with this wire. Let's... This one about there and get a teensy weensy piece off of it. And I can pull apart. There we go. Okay, and do this nice and nice and cut off just that much or so. Okay, typically it could be a little bit more, but we're fine. Okay, positive and negative up there. Okay. 1616. Let's get rid of our garbage right here, right here. That's a dead bat. Thank you, Amazon. There we go. Okay. Top's usually positive. Sure is. Okay, if you guys don't know what we're doing yet. Um, well, we're doing this. We're taping them. That's not like the bit. We actually need this to be like shorter. This is going to be real short here. Shit. Luckily, I can make a new piece if I need to, but um, 
having trouble grabbing it because there's so little to grab onto. Didn't mean to cut it that short. This is again why travel tools. Fuck. We just fucked the whole thing. Okay. That's fine. We have more chances. Really, we just need basically the whole thing to be about like that. That's what we need. Now, let's grab some more red wire. I'm going to have to salvage it from this. But that's okay. There we go. Cool. And I need a de red. Cool. Need strip off a little bit on this side. Fuck. Okay, well. Tip off just a little bit. There's one side done. Now I just need to not fuck up the other side. This is taking ages. I apologize for everyone watching this, uh, either now or in the future, who is dick ripping. I apologize. Um, I don't have the proper tools on hand, and this is what happens. Should have grabbed batteries that were pre tabs. I would have done that, then we would be done with this project. Because I didn't do that. Because I didn't do that, we are now struggling. Also, that's almost enough to solder to. I need a little bit more. Yes, I would say I can solder. I could probably solder that. Okay. Good. Positive there. Okay. Cool. Now we only need um, electrical tape. Probably more than enough. Might even be too much. Just need almost half a piece. About perfect. Oh, 
that they're about the same size. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Those should be fine. So now we have this little abomination. That took me way too long, but we've got it. Now, solder it to this piece of shit. Like that. It's almost the wrong size, but I think we can get it, maybe. If I um do it right, should be okay. Let's bring the temp down on my soldering iron because I'm using actual regular leaded solder. And then we will attempt this and see if it is working again. Just do one side at a time. Here's all I can do. I almost just want like something to hold that there. But I guess my soldering iron tip will be there for that. So, okay guys, first actual that out there. It, I, it worked. It's attached, but I want to get a little bit better. I think it, I think it works. I can't believe it. I think I did it. I think it works. Cool. Wow. That was actually not that hard. Yes, it works. I can't believe it. Sweet. Let's cool that board off so I can touch it wherever I need to to get the other side going good. Um, maybe you should have added some flux um, in hindsight. That end does not look good. I don't know if there's something I can do about that or not. Okay. Trying to get this the right spot here. Enough solder. I need to like straighten this out. Okay. No, 
No, come on. Come on. This is like bending rather than a heat getting hot. There we go. I think, I think we did it, guys. Looks all right. I mean, it looks like my first soldering job, but it's got a connection. They're attached. It, it looks like a first soldering job, guys. Don't judge. But my first time soldering with the wrong tools. I mean, that, that'll work, right? The joints don't look too bad. I'm proud of that. First ever job. Yeah. Cool. That might actually work, ladies and germs. It's time to find out if it will. Um, let's put the game back in the thing. Um, cover back on. And the cover does fit. It's not really bulging or anything, which is nice. I was worried that that would be the case. But you got to remember that the actual real battery is, um, thicker. Or the, um, not real battery, but the other one has, like, tabs and stuff on it. So, like that, you know, it works. So, set it to Titan mode. That's T I G H T E N. Not Titan like attack on Titan or screw this in because I'm confident in my work. And let's see here. Um we still have an extra piece of tape on our sucker. Let's grab my Game Boy Advance. Ladies and germs. Moment of truth here. Nice. Uh, focus on that. Moment of truth. If it says the internal battery run dry, then it didn't work. If it does not give me that error, then we should be fine. Oh. Not good. Might have broken the cartridge entirely. Oh, no, we're good. Everything looks fine. It's launching just fine. Okay. Okay, let's see. Hey, look at that. It doesn't say anything about the battery running dry. All right. I am super happy with that, guys. Sweet. Well, guys. Now, if you guys are looking at this as a tutorial, you will need a Nintendo DS. Either a DS Lite or original DS, one of them with the Game Boy slot, because you will need, as well, one of the DS SD card readers, or you need the GBA Flash version, which is harder to come by. But if you're looking to restore an old save, just remember that you need to reset the, uh, the RTC, the real-time clock. Um, and if you're, if you're trying to start a new game, you're good, you can end here. But if you're trying to restore an old save, then you need to, um, God, there's a video on YouTube, um, I'll be linking it below when I upload this in the archive, but there's a YouTube video about the, about doing this that shows there's a, there's a, like an open source or something like that, I don't know if it's open source, but a publicly available 
free software for your DS that you can use to reset the real-time clock on your Game Boy game. All you do is you plug that in the DS game slot, you plug this in the GBA slot, and tell it the right date. Because when you reset the battery, it resets the clock to January 1st, 2000. Um, but your game says, oh, your berries won't be ready until uh, February 3rd, 2024, or whatever. So by the time your berries are ready, the battery's dead again. So other than that, I'm satisfied with this. I'm probably going to do my other cartridge because I didn't break nothing. So I'm kind of confident. Um, should I do it on stream? Should I do my personal cartridge on stream? Should we do it? I'm honestly pretty, pretty confident here. Should we do that? I think we're going to do it, gang. My personal old save is no longer there. That was gone long ago. Um, at some point, I don't know what um, caused me to do it, but at some point I um, started a new game. I don't know why, but at some point I did. Um, so I'm... But my girlfriend wants to... Um, I should say I asked because I thought it would be a good idea, and she agreed that it would be fun. She's never played an original, like, a Pokemon um, RPG. She's played Pokemon Go. So I suggested that she and I get the authentic, real experience, um, each with a copy of Emerald. Um, but I wanted to fix the real-time clocks first so that we could do it properly. Um, so here we are. Uh, funny story, I have most uh, most Gen 3 games. I don't know where my copy of Ruby went, but I do have all Gen 3 games except for legit uh, Leaf Green, as you can see up there. It's a fake Leaf Green. It's a poser. But other than that, um, if you count my bootleg Leaf Green, then I have all Gen 3 games. Um, I've never actually played Leaf Green and Fire Red. Which would be interesting. Um, but I grew up on Emerald, which is where my heart is. So, um, God, fucking Alexa, add wire stripper to the wish list. I have a pair that I want, and it's just uh, 20 bucks. And if anyone wants to buy me those pair of wire strippers, I would love you forever and ever. There's a Irwin, I think, on Amazon. They're like 25 bucks, 20 bucks. They're literally the one squeeze and you're done. So. <laughs> Big mess. Big mess. Big mess. But, we're going to fix a GBA cartridge today. Mr. I'm interested to see how mine looks on the inside, my childhood one. It was lost in the couch for about a million to billion years. Um, and, um... Does this have an ideal temperature for me to use? Oh. Hang on. Fucking... Go... away, Edge. Three sixty one. Okay. Up to three sixty one. Okay. Um 
I thought I was using 60-40, but I'm using um, 63-37. I forgot that I sprang for for the modern ship. I say that as if the um, sixty three thirty or sixty forty, you know, isn't gonna fucking work. Using scissors sucks for wire stripping. If I was using those regular wire stripper, who would have been done with bold games? Like an hour ago. God damn it. So, for those of you that are watching this that also don't have wire strippers, you can use your nails. What you do is you kind of get one side started, you pull at it with your nail. It sucks, and it's not really efficient, and it leaves a mess, but it is does work sometimes-ish. Okay, and that is our second wire harness thing, and this one is my childhood copy of Emerald. Telling them apart because you can kind of see the brown sharpie of Adam on that front there. That was my parents. Put your name on everything, they said. Especially since we went to a daycare center um, with chillins who potentially would steal. And stealing did happen at that daycare center. Um, so I'm glad, even though technically my copy of Emerald has been devalued, I was never looking to sell it anyway. So, um, ooh. Uh, so luckily, See, this one doesn't, this one has a little bit of like dust in it, but it's not horrible. Alright, hmm, this one doesn't look as pretty, oddly enough. Um, on the inside, I mean. It's got, like, like the guy who soldered on the battery missed a little bit. The flux is kind of all over the place. Hmm. Interesting. This one has very visible solder all over that area, though. So we're gonna try our best here to suck some of that up before I um, even try to get this battery off. Oh yeah, we're sucking a lot of that up. Think. Can't really tell. Let me 
get any of it or not. Kind of looks like I am. Might just be too much for soldering braid. See if we can get it with the sucker. The fist slowly coming free. Oh yeah. That actually really works. Hell yeah, that's basically free. There's a little bit left on there. That's what the braid's for. Nice. <laughs> I can't believe that worked so well. It was like flash and it was gone. Oh, and there's the solder it just sucked up too. Hell yeah. All right, I am, wow, I am blown away how well that works. Holy crap. Thank you guys for spending your day with me. I think it's Saturday. It's only 4.03, hang on. Hang on. Hang on one second. I thought it was like 5 earlier. Hang on. What time is it? It is only 4.03. I thought it was almost 5 earlier. I guess it couldn't have been. My girlfriend at um, a local like uh, nature reserve, it closes at 5, so I had to have been dumb. Hell yeah. Oh, I love the solder sucker. Hell yeah. Guys, seriously. Fucking solder sucker. Holy shit, if you're debating solder sucker, that just fucking cleaned up that whole mess in a hurry. Wow. I am like blown away here. Um, I wish I could do this properly, but I only have what I have. I want to do it today. Um, so... We're going to have to just work with what we got. Okay. Nope, oh, that side's already free. Okay. Well. I'm going to move my screwdriver in there to hold the board down while I desolder it. I'm surprised this takes so long to heat up and pull off. You know what I mean? I'm very surprised. We are still at temperature. Hang on. Let's give it a second here. Let's put the multimeter away so it's not in my way. Wrap it back up here. Put that up there. Let's get the scissors out of the way because we don't need them neither. Okay. Let's get the solder braid back out here. Clean this one up just a little bit more. Maybe there's some left that... Oh, our tip's also, like, all gross. Okay, maybe that'll help. That'll probably help quite a bit. Assume the... 
and assuming it wasn't lifting off because the tip was gross, which was preventing some of the heat from Come on. It is just refusing to come loose. This is not coming loose. It's like stuck. Hmm. I don't see anything particularly like wrong with it. I see a whole bunch of flux. Just a ton of flux. I mean, an absolute metric shit ton of flux. Like, you can see, I think that's what that is. Like, hang on. Mm -hmm. See it? All, like, up in that corner where I've been working on? All brown. I think that's flux. I think the last person just used a crap ton too much flux. I don't think that's what my problem is right now. I have no idea what my problem is right now. Maybe it's glue? Is it a glue that I'm running into here? Maybe it's not flux. Maybe they glued the terminal down on top of on top of the solder. I think, honestly, what I also think could be happening is just that, oh, there's just a ton of solder. This, this soldering braid is getting, like, stuck. There's just a ton of solder. That might be it. I just picked up a shit ton of it. Do they, like, over-solder to keep the battery in place? Maybe structural? I don't know. I can't get this off. I'm gonna have to take some side cutters and just snip it off, guys. And solder on top of it. I hate to do that on my childhood copy, but it's not budging like I don't know what else to do here guys hold it up to the fan let it cool off so I can pick at it with my regular fingies I just pull it yes yes I can I just pulled it. Cool. 
It was literally stuck down with glue. It was literally glued. That is kind of weird. Because I don't think the other one was. It was a little hard to get off, but not horribly. Okay. Positive. Negative. There we go. Oh, fuck. Burn the shit out of my hand. And the insulation. No, fuck. Ugh. My non slip pad there. Fuck. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Cool. I just got the insulation a bit. That's fine. We're good. We're all good, guys. It's not as bad as it really looked. It looked really bad. Ooh, that fucking solder mask is like not looking so hot on this side. burning rubber over here from my iron scraping along it. Okay. Pad is like completely gone. Hmm. That pad is completely gone. That pad is completely gone. Hang on. Luckily, there's a like a through hole. I think that will still give me the negative um, terminal that I need. Oh well, actually, no, no, it is not. Here, that pad is gone. Can I? Solder to this through hole instead. Maybe if I can get it through the hole.
poked myself. Okay. Yeah, that um, solder pad is completely gone. I don't know what the hell happened there. But we're gonna try... That's not really what you're supposed to... I don't know what the hell's going on, guys. Yeah, something just completely ate away at um, that solder pad. Like you can see this top corner here. Completely eaten away. I don't know if it's the glue or if it was my fault. Maybe I screwed it up. Um. I guess I'm just going to try to solder to that, I guess. I don't know even how to go about doing that. First, I need to get rid of all of that solder on, on that there. Smells funky in here. Okay. Got a bit more solder off of that. Holding up to the light, to the light, to the fan. shove it inside that hole and I got it. Okay. My problem is I don't know what those are. I think I want to try to stay on this side. Man, this is a fucking problem, huh? What a problemo. Okay, well, I 
We'll see if that works. Good my side cutters and let's cut that bad boy. Hopefully this works. If not, if I broke my childhood copy of Emerald, I might cry. That is a braid gone. Fucked up. We need the right wings bit, uh, which is there. Uh, screw back in. Set this bad boy right now. Put this right now. It does not look near, nearly as pretty from the outside, but that's okay. Nothing we can really do about that, unfortunately. Because technically it didn't look that great on the outside anyway. You could see the battery through anyway. Okay. Let's try this again. Hope to God I just fixed my childhood copy as well. Looking at nice and good. Let's see. Well, it still works. That's good. Still works. And I did not get an internal battery run dry message. Yes. Okay. They're both fixed. Holy shit, guys. They're both fixed. It only cost me uh, nearly two hours of my life and some worry that I would never recover these because the soldering pad, the solder pad got... Um, Completely fucked. But but they're fixed. Leaf green isn't, but fuck the leaf fuck 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 this bootleg leaf green. Honestly. Honestly just fucking there you go. Toss garbage. Garbolium. Don't care. These batteries. Also all garbolium. And all of this extra garbage here. Cover that up. This extra garbage up here. Look at all this garbage. Um, but anyway, guys, let us um, clean up our workstation here. Now that we've finished, let's open that up. Put that in here. Not quite sure where to put this guy yet. It really worked. Like, I'm very satisfied with that. I mean, that was really, really nice. Glad I picked that up. Um, I'm just going to slide down there if I'm not careful. Um, put that there. Put this in there. I know you can't see half the stuff I'm doing. I apologize. Um, but... Um, my screwdriver case. Game pry wing bit there. Lock it shut. Right now. That's good. All right. Well, guys. I really, really appreciate you guys and everything you do. Doesn't look like I had anyone join me on stream today, but I will be uploading this immediately after YouTube. So, um, thank everybody. Hang on. Ugh. There we go. I thank everybody so much for watching. Um, hopefully you have proper tools for soldering. Um, if you try this, 
iron's still hot. I can still smell it. Um, anyway, hopefully you have proper tools if you want to try this yourself. I will try to remember to link down below the video that you need and the stuff that you need if you want to try to recover an old save because you do need to do some extra work. It's not that much. You do need an SD, uh, micro SD to DS cart adapter or a micro, uh, SD to Game Boy Flash, whatever. Um, I recommend doing the DS route because it's usually cheaper unless you don't have a DS. Um, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm Adam. Um, check out the Discord for more weekend vibes. Check out my website, weekdayweekend.net. Check out the YouTube archive and all that stuff. I'll see you guys next time, next weekend. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone in the future because no one's watching this one. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.